Hi everybody, it's Kim Wilson back with our October card class and this card is going to be our fun fold. And I called this um, the three quarters fold, but that's sort of just my name for it because you're actually using three quarters of a sheet of cardstock to make this fun fold. I was trying to think of a name of it because I have no idea what, what it's called, but you could also call it like the 90 degree card or I don't know. I like the three quarters because you have three quarters and you fold up the bottom one and then fold over the front flap. So I'm using the Merriest Wishes um, for this card. So that is a stamp set. And then the dies come with a folder. I think I have my folder in the stamp case. So let me show you real quick. This is a, a, one of those dynamic folders and we used one earlier in the year with a previous class. So I'm just going to do a little refresher here on how to use the, the folders. Um, um, let's see, only two of the pieces are are eight you're able to use at the same time and run them through at the same time as the folder and that is the big outline piece and then the the rectangle this intricate piece right here um, and that's what I used on my sample actually is that one that one you can't use at the same time because it doesn't um, because of the intricate cutting it um, it uh, otherwise would interfere with the embossing, so it's not gonna not gonna work at the same time. So you have to be careful. Only certain ones can do this. And the way you can tell is, let me see if I've got it the right direction. Um, you need to I had it backwards. Use the um, the logo there, and then if you flip this the right direction. You can kind of move it around until you find the right spot and I might have it upside down. Yeah, it's a little hard to do the first time. There, it, did you hear that click? It clicked right into place and now it's flush with the embossing folder. And you can actually do the same thing and that's what I did actually with my kits with the rectangle is I put the rectangle and that outline in at the exact same time and uh, put my paper in and then ran it through the embossing machine. Now here's a card I did with um, just that outline piece and you can see the rectangle there that shows it a little better and um, so there's yeah, that um, I think I had more pieces. Oh here's one that I didn't put together yet and here is Here's one where I cut it but did not do the, the rectangle, so I just left it. Left the rectangle in, and here's one just using the folder. So you can see there's all sorts of variations you can use with this bundle and get a lot of different looks. Okay, let me put this aside and we'll get started on the card. Okay, put all that away. Grab one of my kits, and I do have a few kits left if you didn't get a kit. All right, so most of this I kind of had to do ahead of time so that I could send the kits out and have them ready to go. So, and to get all the die cutting done, I'm still um, trying to make the classes short so we can get in and out and be um, distanced really well. Um, so most of this work's already been done if you uh, get the kit. But it's three quarters of a piece of cardstock. We just cut out one quarter. And one thing I did want to mention if you're making more of these is make sure that the this last quarter is is not exactly on the fold. You want it kind of up on the inside so that when you fold this one up, you're going to be able to fold that one over easily and not have um not have it too much of a uh, too much too much bulk there so that it doesn't fold over well and it's not going to necessarily line up absolutely perfectly but it's going to it's going to be good enough good enough to go so um right so there's there's our piece there and now we just need to assemble i already put the top on cuz i had to cut them out at the same time um just so that they lined up so that one's done so we're going to start adding more designer series paper. So let me grab my sample here to look at. So I 
All right, so what I did want on um, this flap here is, and you can play around and lay out the pieces um, as you please. They don't necessarily have to be exactly how I did, or you could use the, um, the backs. That's a pretty, that would be a pretty pattern as well. So I'm going to put that one there. And then I have the extra rectangles that I cut out when I die cut that rectangle are going to be our pieces for um, putting our sentiments on. So we've got one stamp sentiment there and then one there. And then I left a blank one here for signature. So this um, Mary's Wishes set was a good one for this because you could add, you know, it has a bunch of different sentiments to use. Um, you can do this uh, fun fold, of course, with any sort of cutout. You could do an oval cutout or a square or any, any other die cut. It doesn't have to be this exact um, bundle, uh, and you'll get a nice, a nice look for that. I think I saw some people did Halloween cards and all sorts of different cards with this layout. This was actually one a layout that... Um, Patty Bennett and Sarah and Shelley did when she had her um, two million dollar visit to Stampin' Up headquarters, and they did they had a little fun stamping session together. So let's see, I put that one there, and then this last one there. It takes quite a bit of designer paper to to do this card if you fill up all the panels. Of course, you could stamp on the panels. And just used stamp pieces as well so either one either one would be good and then uh, this one's gonna go on the top I might even put this on with dimensionals just just to be different I didn't with my sample but um, I think I would like to try it with dimensionals and see how it looks so we'll put a bunch bunch on there and then get ready to stamp our sentiments for the rest of the card. So we had such beautiful weather here in Erie. Um, we had summer weather up till this past weekend and then it got quite a bit cooler and rainier but it's still nice and sunny today even if it is cooler. So I don't know if you can see the sunshine coming in. I'm enjoying that. Alright so this one I'm going to use that side for my um, my greeting, and then I'm going to stamp on these two rectangles. So, grab some sentiments here. Okay, I think I did a joyful Christmas to you and yours on the green one. And then I did, um, let's see, thinking of you this festive season on the red one. So, and I stamped all of these with Evening Evergreen. It just uh, is a nice dark color that still goes well with the painted Christmas designer paper, which I forgot to mention that is the paper I used. So we'll just stamp those two sentiments. And add those and we'll be done. All right, so let me close close up that ink pad and then um, let's see get the right order of things here. And what I did to um, attach these is just... Uh, I actually glued them right right through the opening here, kind of slid it in there, and you'll have a little play with it um, if you use the liquid glue. So you can kind of slide it in there to make sure it lines up nicely. Okay, that looks good. And then this one, I'll do the same thing with this one. Close it up, put a little liquid glue slide it in there and then that one lines up too all right so then this is how it goes panel one the front then open it like this and then it goes down like this 
And then we can add our signature piece on the bottom here. And then fold the back up. And I suppose you could do it in other orientations as well. So you could try doing it like this. If you had uh, stamps that went long and tall like that. So play around with that fun fold. I think it's really fun. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And the, um, the directions, um, the PDF directions are in, the, in this group. The Say It With Color Paper Crafting group. And um, they're already posted up there in guide number 20 for um, all three of the cards for this class. Okay, signing off now, and I'll be back in just a minute with the last card.